I'm Ben with the BTC Sessions, and this is your bullish bit brought to you by BitcoinWell.com, the simplest and quickest way to buy Bitcoin in the US or Canada and get it directly into your own self custody. Check them out today at the links down below. What I've seen is a, a little bit more discussion and awareness from people that the app stores, number one, are a bit of a choke point. But number two is that there are alternatives to, you know, the Apple App Store and the, the Google Play uh, App Store. You know, there's been alternative app stores for for quite some time when it comes to Android, F-Droid, uh, the Aurora Store, things like that. You can basically get, you know, whatever apps that you want um, without having to, uh, you know, get the the approval of of Google for uh, your apps and be able to download them with uh, maybe a little bit more privacy. Uh, alternatively, you know, an example like Phoenix, you know, you can of course go to their GitHub page and download what's known as the APK file and install it directly on an Android phone. We also see things like in terms of Noster, Primal, you can of course, they give the option for APK files there where you could just download directly and install. But I also saw something interesting pop up this week. Again, an, an alternative app store, Zap.store. And this is, it's a permissionless app store. It uses Nostra to establish identity, linking release artifacts to social pr profiles validated by the web of trust. This enables secure installs, a new app discoverability layer, and developer monetization via Zaps. W what I'm happy about here is, again, just the awareness that you are not beholden to the app store at all times. There are alternatives. And in the face of censorship, you know, you you have ways to go about things and still get access to the software that you want to run. Yeah, so uh, you hit on some of the, the main options. Uh, and so there's been great tools like F-Droid, like Aurora Store, which is kind of a wrapper for, for the Google Play Store. Mm -hmm. But one that's really kind of taken the space by storm is this that you're showing right now called Obtanium. Uh, and the the beautiful thing about Obtanium and the reason I use it for at least uh, probably like three quarters of the apps that I have right now installed is that you can install apps from a plethora of sources. You can install apps direct, directly from like the GitHub release page like you showed with Phoenix Wallet. So you would just grab that URL for their GitHub release page, paste it into Obtanium, and it'll automatically check for updates, install the app for you. It handles all of the the complexity that usually comes with manually doing those things. You can also do F-Droid, both official and unofficial repos directly in Obtanium. Uh, if a uh, if an app only publishes their APK like on their website, there's tools within Obtanium to actually scrape the APK file from the website and automatically check for updates and help you install it and all of that as well. So it's wow. it's kind of my go-to now. I'm either using the Google Play Store when like absolutely necessary because there's no other source for an app or I'm using Obtanium for everything else. Uh, and the beautiful thing about the Bitcoin ecosystem is most good apps and wallets in the space are free and open source and publish APKs on their GitHub or some other method. So you can get pretty much everything in the Bitcoin ecosystem, uh, plus the privacy ecosystem, et cetera, uh, directly through Obtanium, which is a, a really, really cool app. It, it doesn't get highlighted enough, but I think it's a vital one for this kind of use case.